when it comes to AI, it's even more important to be comfortable with the ambiguity. Having the personality type and the, I guess, the business courage to be all right with ambiguity and to respect that things are going to change. And so long as you make room for that, you're going to have really, really excellent products at the end of that life cycle. So what are your advice for the product managers? What do you think in this stage and in this age, product managers that work with artificial intelligence product should know in terms of design principles or design insights? There are, like I said, so many technologies out there. As a product manager, you just like a designer, you really kind of want to work with those and be able to say, my product uses AI, that's super cool. So as a designer, when, I, when I'm approaching these kind of challenges and whatnot, it's really important to be able to shine a light on those uh, crossovers where we think AI is going to be sol the solution, but then when you put it in context of the user, maybe it is the solution, but also maybe it's not the solution that you envisioned. And be able to gently, respectfully show to, to your team and those product managers, this is what our idea, idea was, this is what our hypothesis was, and we've tested that, and now that we know more, maybe it's not what we think it is, or maybe we should be all right with changing our, our approach on this kind of thing. So it's really about, uh, in the way that AI can be assistive, you as a designer should be very assistive to your team. And even if they have strong hypotheses about these, it's your job to make sure to shine a light on those and really validate those rather than just kind of jumping in whole hog and, and saying, yes, AI is the thing, all speed ahead. What do you think are the really the mental, behavioral, uh, if you like, self-development challenges for somebody that has been educated in a world like that and now instead is going to deal with products that really is kind of almost living machines that grow over time and changes over time. And uh, what, what's the challenge there eh, that, that you think they face? I mean, the challenge is really about managing, uh, a big one is about managing expectations where we, tra in traditional software development, we go in wanting so badly that we're gonna put this design and maybe it's not gonna be perfect, but it's, it's gonna be, we're gonna optimally, it's gonna do really well and then we might make some tweaks along the way and then it'll be great and then we'll move on to the next thing. I, and I know that's kind of, that's an idealized look at that, but I think when it comes to AI, it's even more important to be comfortable with the ambiguity and just accept that as kind of the cost of doing business and that not only is the design gonna be iterative, I mean, the model already has to be iterative. And so as a result, the design has to be just as, if not more iterative than that. So it's just having the personality type and the, I guess the business courage to be all right with ambiguity and to respect that things are going to change and so long as you make room for that you're going to make ha you're going to have really really excellent products at the end of that life cycle it's just very hard to communicate that to tr kind of in traditional business structures and whatnot but definitely it's a, it's, a, it's a fight worth having and it's a, and it's where you want to go if you want to be a, a leader of innovations